Good morning, everyone, and welcome to WJTV 12 News coverage of the St. Paddy's Day Parade. Um, this is Melly Christer. I'm Byron Brad. We are going to be streaming here in downtown Jackson and I'm live here on WJTV. And as we are about to celebrate a big day here in downtown Jackson, we our hearts definitely go out for those who uh, suffered from the severe weather that went through the state of Mississippi. Absolutely. We've had loss of life and a lot of destruction uh, overnight with this uh, tornadoes that came through and really our hearts do go out to all of the folks there. We were late covering it all last night and uh, we know that it's uh, today is a day of recovery, uh, rescue and recovery as well as um, just starting to pick up the pieces. So our hearts go out to our neighbors in all those communities affected. Oh, that's right. Well, we're down here in downtown Jackson. We're at 1 o'clock. They'll have the big parade that's going to be happening here. But there's a lot that's going to be going on today oh. as we are getting ready for the St. Patty's Parade. I'll tell you, you drive around here and the floats have been lining up all morning long. Well, and it's only 9 o'clock right now. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, the St. Patty's Parade, the Children's Festival, it's going to be getting underway uh, uh, shortly at the, at the hour. The West Street in front of the Italia Mara Hall. Uh, the uh, Morrow uh, Pet Parade is also a crowd favorite. That starts at 10 o'clock in front of Thalumar as well. And that's when the children's uh, parade starts rolling and that's at 11 a.m. We're trying to give you a little rundown of how what what the time frame is. And then once again the big parade it all begins at one o'clock that's at the corner of State Street and Court Street where it will start and we can expect to see a parade founder Malcolm White and this year's Grand Marshal recording artist Cassandra Wilson leading the way and we spoke uh, we will be speaking to her in a few minutes when she comes out here to, to join us so we're gonna have a good time talking with her I'm about. I'm so excited the, about oh, that. It's gonna be a lot of fun to, there. Yes to get to, to meet her. But how's the weather gonna hold for today? Well I'll tell you we've already been shedding jackets because because we thought it was going to be a little bit cooler. It is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. That's what Ken Sal said, yes. that it would be a beautiful day mm -hmm. for the parade. And let's send it over to Storm Team 12's Brianna Medina for a look at uh, what the forecast is today. Good morning, Brianna. Hey, good morning, Mel. Well, you're absolutely right. We have beautiful weather conditions, and we're looking at clear skies on our live eye cam overlooking downtown Jackson. But the important part is that we are dry, and we'll continue to be dry for most of today. So if you are planning on heading out to the parade, conditions are going to be very pleasant and warming up by we, by the time we head into the evening. So I do recommend packing the sunglasses and hat because again, we'll have mostly sunny skies and dry conditions with a light breeze. So you may want to pack a light jacket as well, but overall conditions are perfect to be out and enjoy the festivities. Melanie, Byron, back to you. Well, you know, let's bring it out. Walt Grayson, who's uh, scouting the parade route. You know, there's a lot going on out there. And so we're going to turn things over to Walt to say, Walt, what's going on? Where your location? Okay, this is going to be a successful parade day, I can tell already, because I just hit the street. I've already got a chicken wing and a hamburger and didn't even have to ask for it. Walk racing downtown Jackson. This is the, you know, the parade is famous for today. The uh, other festivities that are going on, the pet parade and all that. I think there's an unsung hero going on here. That's all the tailgating that happens kind of back off the streets. And this is not for sale. This is just a family reunion. Come here, what you got? Well, no, don't be sorry. Let's see what you got in there. Look at that. All kind of chicken. And there's something cooking right here. But here's my hero over here. What you? What are you cooking? Well, first of all, now don't choke up on me. Oh, my gosh. My first interview of the day, and she can't talk. That's okay. Can you talk? Yes, I can Oh, talk. okay. Tell me your name. My name is Chandra. Chandra, are y'all from Jackson? Yes, we're from Jackson. Jackson. And this is, you're not selling this stuff. This is the family reunion, right? The family reunion. We all cousins out here. Well, Cousin Walt is here. Hey, Cousin Walt. Good to see you. So, how many people are you expecting today? Ooh, who knows? They just fall in. Yeah. Are they all family, or are they just kind of just... We just all related, you know, because we love one another, and we just all a big family. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, and you've been doing this for how long? Ooh, how long have we been coming out here? Ten years. Ten years. In the year. Same spot every year. Well, well, I know where to come next year first, then. Mel, Byron, back to you. All right, Walt Grayson, thank you so much. We'll be checking back with you a little later in the show. But right now, 
12 News, Leah Williams is at the pet parade. Leah, tell us what you've got going on. Yeah, we're out here outside of Thalia Mara Hall, man. People have been out here for hours already. Everybody's in their green. And we have our own Marie Menafield Hill here. Looking yes. festive as well. Looking festive, ready to have a good time, ready to see the pet parade and the kids parade. And then most importantly, the St. Patty's Day parade at one o'clock. So y'all still got time to get down here and have a good time. And Marie and I are gonna be judging the pet parade. Now we have a few categories here. Creativity, originality, performance. We've already seen a couple puppies register because registration just started at nine and they're looking pretty creative already. And then Kayla Thompson, of course, will be emceeing this event. Kayla, how you feeling this morning? I feel great. I mean, this is really the weekend we've all been waiting for. We've been talking about it amongst ourselves for at least a good two months. So it's going to be a great time. If you've never brought your children out here, it doesn't even matter what they have on. If you just want them to show off their hair beads, this is the day that we need them to come out. Your child, your dog, your pet, whatever you have, seriously, bring it down here because it's it's going to be a moment. And I already made a mix that is inspired by cats and dogs. Okay. So I need the people to come down so you can hear it. There's only one way to hear it if you come out to the parade. Now the pet parade starts at 10 and the children's parade will follow. Now we're going to talk things back to Mel and Byron who are a couple blocks down the road from us. <laughs> All right, Leah, thank you so much for that. And we'll look forward to uh, more on the pet parade, which is a, you know, crowd favorite. <laughs> 40 years this parade has been going it's on. Been 40 years, a and lot that, of good time. And the <laughs> pet parade gets better and better every time, as well as the children's festival. Well, we're going to have a lot more coming up. We're going to hear from some of the event organizers, as well as some of our sponsors. All right, 12 News, a special coverage of the House of Pat St. Patty's Parade continues right after this break. We'll be right back.